It was a dramatic day in Fort Worth, the gymnastics national semifinals. Let's start with the first session, LSU, Stanford, Arkansas, Cal. Rotation number one, LSU on the vault, and that is Haley Bryant, and she is a queen among queens. How about that? Nine, nine on that vault. How about Cal? MJ Frazier, nice clean tumbling pass here. She posted a 9-9-3-7-5, and the Cal would lead after the first rotation. LSU now on the uneven bars. Rotation number two, Bryant. Setting up the dismount. Just a little hop there at the end, 9-9-2-5, that's solid. Now to the balance beam, Bryant. Look at the nail, the combination, and the dismount. What can she not do? 9.95 on the beam. And now we go to the floor. KJ Johnson, her final pass. Give her a 9.95. And in that same lineup, you had Aaliyah Finnegan. This is her final pass. Good enough for a 9.9. 6-2-5, highest score in the first semifinal. LSU and Cal advance to the national final. So let's talk about the all-arounders here. Uh, and yeah, we got to start with the senior, Hallie Bryant, LSU. She led the Tigers with an all-around score of 39.7125, the highest in the semifinal in school of history. Bryant and LSU are both in line for titles this weekend, from the highest scoring all-arounder to the biggest surprise of the semis. Two-time defending champion Oklahoma will not win it this year. They got eliminated in the semis, as you just saw here at ESPN2. Sooners were hoping to be the fourth school to win three straight titles. So, the field is set for Saturday's final. Utah, who won the first five gymnastics championships back in the 80s, seeking a tie for a record 10th overall. Cal and LSU, meanwhile, still searching for the first. Florida has been runner-up, though, two years in a row. ESPN analyst and three-time Olympic gold medalist Ali Raisman joins us now. Ali, seemed like this might not be Oklahoma's night right out of the gates. How do you best describe what went wrong? Yeah, it's hard to put into words. I, I guess I can relate to myself as an athlete. It's devastating. I think it is a good reminder to all of us, no matter how good you are, no matter if you're undefeated, at the end of the day, it's sports and anything can happen. And unfortunately, it was... A night, it just wasn't Oklahoma's night. They had a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes, and it was devastating to watch, but I was really proud of them that they came back really strong on floor. They danced really well. Their choreography was great. They had good tumbling, and, and they really ended on a note for themselves and for each other. Yeah, and a dominant program over the past few years in the sport. Ali, Utah is the four-time defending Pac-12 champions, and now the Red Rocks are headed to the finals. What was most notable about their showing tonight? Utah started off on beam and they started off strong and confident. And I think that starting off on beam is hard and it's scary. Really, no matter when you compete beam, it's only four inches wide. But having to start on that event, I think getting it out of the way and they hit routine after routine. And I think that gave them a lot of confidence going into the night. So Utah and Florida and Cal are there. And then in the first semi, LSU posted their second highest NCAA championship team score. Ali, how do they get over the hump and land on top of the podium on Saturday? It's going to be really interesting who is the one that comes out on top. I think that all four of these teams on any day could be the national champion, but I think what it's going to take is it's going to come down to consistency and the team that has no mistakes. It's going to be hard, and it's so much easier said than done under that amount of pressure. You just have to go in, treat it like a regular day of competition, and do your normal, as I used to say to my teammates. But it's hard to do that under the lights when there's TVs. It's a different environment. I really think it's going to come down to the team that's able to put it all together and peak at the right time. Go do your normal, but be as close to perfect as you can possibly be, and you can catch the finals Saturday on ABC and ESPN+. Plus. Ellie Raisman, great job tonight. Thanks so much. Thank you.